So I've ruptured my bicep tendon, um, also called a bicep tendon avulsion, um, torn your bicep. Um, done that two weeks ago now, and I just want to talk about um, the problems that can occur and like the operation and things like that, and just give some advice and uh, my experience of what happened basically. So um, yeah, so I tore my bicep, lifting something too heavy. Um, I just felt something rip up. I could hear it, I could hear it inside as well. I felt something rip and it felt like something untangled up my arm. Um, and there's a lot of people out there that ask, um, how do you know if it's torn? How do you know if, if you've got an injury? You'll know straight away. If as soon as you do it, you'll know it straight away. You'll know something's wrong. My arm went completely limp. Um, apart from my hand, I could, my hand could still move, but my arm, I could completely limp. Um, my hand went uh, purple. Um, but I could still move my hand, which is going to be one of the key things I want to talk about here because, um, it took about six days for me to have the operation, which is good. NHS, clapped NHS. Um, but after the surgery, it took about two and a half hours, I believe it took. Uh, under general anesthetics, so I was put asleep. I had local anesthetic on my arm as well to numb the pain. Um, I woke up though in excruciating pain. Um, I had to have a lot of painkillers, morphine, etc., just to get by and soothe because I was I was really bad really bad in pain um they asked if i could move my hand um and there's nothing i can't move my hand it's nearly a week ago now since uh my surgery and still nothing nothing in my hand um i can't move my hand at all i can sort of when my wrist is limp i can move my finger slightly i can move my wrist up but um, yeah, so uh, the operation didn't go too well, to be honest with you, by the looks of things. So I've got to go back in now. Um, I've been to and from the hospital ever since, um, and they've got to do some nerve conduction studies. I could have damage to my radial nerve. Um, quite a serious problem to have, I think. Um, you know, because I could, as soon as I'd done the injury, I could move my hand straight away. There was no problem with my hand. And now it's my whole arm, I can't even move my arm. My bicep is still, I still can't lift my arm up nearly a week later after the operation. So, yeah, I need to get back in there and get that sorted. Um, what I initially brought that on was, I had like a cast on. Um, it wasn't like a cast, it was like a thick bandage with some plastic underneath. And I couldn't really feel my hand after a couple of days after the operation. I, pin, I got pins and needles on my finger and all down... All down the inside there is, well, sorry, it's, it's down from this one. All my forearm, completely numb. That doesn't even fill up my hand I'm touching, my arm I'm touching. Completely numb. And I was hoping, once they took the sort of bandaging wrapping off, that the blood flow would start coming back down and my hand would start feeling normal again. Maybe it was just restricted blood flow from the bandage. Um, but that's when I really felt my arm was numb and something was seriously wrong. So they sent me straight back to the orthopedic ward. Um, to get it sorted out straight away, do blood tests, etc., x ray. <clears throat> um, yeah, so they reckon it might be radial nerve damage. They've done all these tests on my hand. I've had a therapist ring me in that, and I'm, I'm a bit worried, to be honest with you. I'm a bit worried about my arm and my hand. But I just want to say that, because um, there's a lot of videos out there which after like pre-op videos saying oh, everything's going smooth and things like that. I haven't found any yet that's actually had any problems. So I just want to say that um, when you sign that disclaimer, actually give it a good read and listen to what the doctor is saying because things do go wrong. People make mistakes, even doctors. Um, I love the NHS, can't bash them at all. They all do the best, they're amazing, absolutely amazing. But people make mistakes, you know, it's just a human thing to do. Um, and I left it two days. I thought uh, I thought it's just I just had an operation. I'd be a pussy. Where's my? I just thought it would move one day soon. Um, but I'm glad I got to sort out what I what I what I did really because uh, obviously something's wrong. So yeah, but they might have to go in and reoperate again because I had like a rod drilled into my forearm into my bone, and they reattached the bicep to that the bicep tendon and then drill it into the bone. I believe um, so, and there's like a nerve behind behind the forearm forearm bone. I don't know the proper term for it. Um, a radial nerve, and they reckon it's either hit that, damaged that, up against that, 
Um, but they can't operate any time soon because um, if you operate again, there's a risk for infection and um, that's a really bad thing because you could actually lose your arm for infection. So I think you've got to leave it a bit, conduct these nerve studies um, and go from there. I've got a hand therapy, so if I get my hand moving. Um, but it's been nearly a week now and I've had no change whatsoever. I, I'm not in that much pain anymore. It's just um, just numb. And it's uh, quite stressful to be honest. It was like carrying around like a dead animal. Is uh knackers you eight, but um, yeah, that was my two incisions. Cut there, cut there, and they sort of like feed the bicep back down, and drill it back into the bone down there. But obviously that uh, bit of metal's touching the nerve or damaged the nerve. So yeah, I just wanted to say that um, if you ever feel like anything's wrong, just make sure you ring them up or go back down there and sort it out because it's best to get it sorted sooner than later. And everyone makes mistakes, but um. Yeah, so that's that's a problem I've been having with mine basically. Um, if you've got any questions about bicep tears or anything like that, um, I don't know a load about it, but I'm going through it. So, on if you're just going through it yourselves, so I can give you some advice then. So, all right.